Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dominique. If you are new, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. As you can see, today I will be doing a wash my car with me. I didn't want to put this video up until I got a proper intro for you guys. So if you are ready to see how I wash my car, then just keep watching. All right, y'all. So here is my mess. Here's the passenger side. I have a few pairs of shoes up here, trash bag, you know, a little bit of stuff in the console. This is a water that I'm currently drinking. I have some stuff in here. Um, it looks like a napkin, you know, little stuff like that. Um, y'all, that's a wig cap. Don't judge me. I take my wig off at all, like anytime. Some papers and stuff on the floor. And here's my back seat. I have my sweater back here, my um, umbrella, you know. So as you guys can see, like spending $100 on a detail really wouldn't make sense because my car is not that dirty. It's something that I can clean by myself. And last but not least, my trunk. I do have pillows that usually sit in my back seat. They're not back there because I did have my niece which is, she's a dog, my sister doesn't have any kids, she's a dog, and I did take my pillows out of the back seat because I didn't want her like all on them and like make them smell like a dog. And here is my basket. This is a really good car organizing idea. Um, I do keep some things in here. I do have neck rests because when I go out of town, I do um, use these to go to sleep. I have jumper cables. This is my lab coat, and this is just a jacket that I keep in the car. Here is my cleaning bucket. I be getting down, y'all. Like, I got all my stuff in here. Like I said, she's not that dirty. So, we about to go ahead and get it popping, okay? So, the first thing I'm going to do is start by wetting my car, and I'm also going to let my windshield wipers up so I can clean under those. And I'm just going to go ahead and start soaping up my car. So everything that I'm using today is by the company Arma All. I purchased an 8-piece set from Amazon for the price of $27. And it literally has everything you need to wash your car, including the sponge that I'm using right now. finish soaping up my car of course I'm going to rinse everything off and while my car is still wet I'm going to go ahead and do my tires as well I am using the armor all wheel and tire now this literally gets everything off of your tires if your tires are dirty I really recommend using this it tells you that it gets all of the grime it can even get some rust off and I don't know what's the brown stuff in there but y'all this stuff is amazing after spraying all of my four tires I did let it sit and then I took the same sponge that I was using for my car to just wipe it off and then I rinsed it off after cleaning the tires as you can see I am now using tire shine it is also by Arma All and you are supposed to go around your tires two times with this so I am just going to be using this car rag to literally wipe off my entire car After washing is not only important for the bubbles but it also allows you to get into places that you can't get into with water so for instance a lot of people do not tend to get this part in their trunk because they can't spray water however when it's time for you to dry you can get those tough spots and as you can see my rag started to get very dirty so now that my car is nice and dry I can go ahead and do my windows I'm going to spray all four and then use a clean rag to go ahead and get all of the glass cleaner off all right so now that the outside is finished I'm about to go ahead and start picking up stuff in the car and start cleaning out the insides I'm gonna start putting everything in the trash to go in with the same sponge that I used on the outside and I'm going to make sure that it has no product on it just water and I'm going to go in and wipe all of my seats down and all of my interior and as you can see just by wiping them it made a huge difference <music> wiping down the entire 
interior with just water, I'm going to go in with a clean rag and protectant. Protectant is very important because it of course protects your interior from the dangerous sun rays. So I do not have my windshield tinted yet, however I have the rest of my windows tinted. But majority of the heat and the sun rays come in through the windshield so protectant is very important and it also gives your interior a nice shine. The one thing that I love about my car is that it comes with a movable cup holder and phone trays so it makes cleaning the cup holders and the phone trays very very easy and as you can see I'm just going to put a little bit more protectant on my rack and continue to clean out my console. going to get my emergency parking brake I'm also going to of course get my steering wheel because of course the light rays do beam on my steering wheel I feel like vacuuming is so self-explanatory. I just wanted to include it because I feel like it's so satisfying to watch like all the dirt being picked up. So I am just going to go ahead and vacuum my floors of course and I also like to vacuum my seats out. Is it just me or is the driver's side always the dirtiest? Like my side is always the dirtiest. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I'm about to go ahead and use the leather care. I have to be super careful with this and not drench my seats only because my seats do heat up. So which means they do have like electric wires in them. So I did just apply like a little dot and I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it on. And this is how the seats are supposed to look. So I'm about to go ahead and do this on all of my seats. This was my first time using this leather care and I must say I really love the way that it makes my leather seats look. It gives it a nice non-greasy shine. So last but not least are these black ice little trees. This is my favorite scent. I literally just opened these. I ordered these from Amazon and y'all about to go ahead and pop one in so my car can be smelling real good. So you guys should have known I was not going to leave until I gave you guys a little car tour. So here is the passenger seat here guys. Um, I do have like a little um, bath and body work scent here. This is what it looks like. I don't remember the scent. I think it's like Georgia something. And I do have my car shades up because y'all it's hot. Like I said I did put my little tree up. So here it is y'all it's about to start smelling good in here. Here's my radio, all of my controls, air, um, the radio controls, all that. And here is my key right here. And if you guys have not seen my Louis Vuitton unboxing video of the six key ring holder, then make sure you go and see it. So this is what it looks like in the ignition if you guys are um, curious. I don't know. And you just turn it like that and then everything is going to pop on and of course the radio doesn't go off until i like legit open the door so then it'll cut off here is my cup holder right here so i do have two cup thingies right here i have two phone thingies and that is just my tripod and my phone sitting in here i usually put my phone in here all the time like as soon as i get in the car this is just trash in my lap so i can take in the house with me my steering wheel, I have all of my stuff here. My speedometer, gas stuff, boom, boom, boom. Here is my little coin bucket. And when you turn to the back, my seats are looking real good back here, y'all. Let me tell y'all, that leather stuff is amazing. But here are my two decorative pillows that I always keep in the car. I got these from Home Goods. I believe they were like $12 each. 
but yeah you guys my car is like really really simple so you guys that is going to go ahead and wrap up my video if you are interested in any of the products that i use they will always be listed down below if you are not already make sure you go ahead and follow me on instagram and on twitter because i do keep you guys updated on there and i will see you guys in the next one